When the body is ill, care for it with nurses and medicine, and cure it through faith. In the realm of human experience, few challenges test the depths of our resolve and faith quite like the onslaught of illness. Whether manifesting as physical afflictions, mental disturbances, or spiritual maladies, sickness has the power to shake even the most steadfast among us. It is in these moments of vulnerability that the guidance offered by Nichiren Buddhism proves invaluable, providing a beacon of hope and a pathway to lasting recovery. As faith leaders, our role is not to usurp the responsibilities of medical professionals or to offer advice on specific treatments. Rather, our sacred duty lies in illuminating the Buddhist perspective on illness, its underlying causes, and the transformative power of faith to conquer even the most formidable of ailments. Nichiren Daishonin's writings offer profound insights into the nature of sickness and the fundamental principles required to overcome it. In his celebrated work, The Record of the Orally Transmitted Teachings, he cautions against the folly of attempting to treat an illness without first understanding its root cause, stating, If one tries to treat someone's illness without understanding the cause, it will only make the person sicker than before. This wisdom reminds us that true healing can only be achieved by addressing the underlying factors that give rise to disease, rather than merely treating the symptoms. The Buddha's teachings reveal that illness, like all forms of suffering, ultimately stems from the negative causes we have created through our thoughts, words, and deeds, our karma. While some illnesses may be alleviated through moderation or medical intervention, those rooted in the profound workings of our devilish nature or the weight of our accumulated karma cannot be cured by physical means alone. It is in these instances that the power of faith becomes paramount. By chanting nam myoho renge kyo with unwavering conviction, we tap into the boundless reserves of courage, wisdom, and life force that reside within our own Buddha nature. This practice, coupled with a sincere commitment to transforming our karma, becomes the driving force behind our healing, enabling us to overcome even the most intractable of illnesses. Nichiren Daishonin's guidance on this matter is clear and profound. In one of his writings, he states, If one chants nam myoho renge kyo with the strong conviction that oneself is a Buddha, then one's life will be free from any sickness whatsoever. This is not a promise of instant or miraculous cures, but rather a testament to the profound truth that by aligning our lives with the mystic law and revealing our inherent Buddhahood, we possess the power to fundamentally transform our karma and pave the way for lasting health and well-being. It is important to recognize that faith and medical treatment are not mutually exclusive. In fact, they are complementary paths to recovery. As Nichiren Daishonin himself advised, when the body is ill, care for it with nurses and medicine and cure it through faith. This balanced approach acknowledges the vital role of modern medicine while simultaneously underscoring the indispensable power of faith to address the deeper karmic roots of our afflictions. As leaders, our guidance must steer clear of engrossing ourselves in discussions about specific treatments or medical procedures, for such advice falls outside the realm of our expertise and provides no fundamental solution to the member seeking our counsel. Instead, we must focus on illuminating the path of faith, encouraging our members to chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo with the conviction that they are worthy of health and happiness, and guiding them towards transforming the negative causes that have manifested as illness in their lives. In his celebrated treatise, On Establishing the Correct Teaching for the Peace of the Land, Nichiren Daishonin offers profound guidance on this matter, stating, If the votary of the Lotus Sutra is ill, he should summon forth the power of his faith, chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, and pray to the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas of the Ten Directions and Three Existences, entreating them to cure his illness. He should also seek the assistance of a good physician, for the Buddha permitted the use of food and medicine. This passage encapsulates the balanced approach we must embody in our guidance, a harmonious integration of unwavering faith, the invocation of the mystic law through chanting, and a willingness to embrace the wisdom and assistance of medical professionals. By walking this path, 
our members can navigate even the most formidable of illnesses with the confidence that they possess the means to not only recover, but to emerge from their trials with a deeper, more indestructible faith. Throughout his writings, Nichiren Daishonin offers numerous examples of individuals who overcame grave illnesses by strengthening their faith and chanting Nam Myoho Rengekyo. One such account is that of Shijo Kingo, a devoted follower who had been afflicted with a life-threatening illness. In a letter addressed to Kingo, Nichiren Daishonin encouraged him to put his trust in the Lotus Sutra alone, assuring him that by doing so, he would recover without fail. True to the Daishonin's guidance, Kingo's faith and diligent practice enabled him to overcome his illness and continue his journey of practice with renewed vigor. Stories like these serve as powerful reminders of the transformative potential that lies within each of us when we tap into the wellspring of faith and align our lives with the teachings of Nichiren Buddhism. They underscore the vital role we play as leaders, guiding our members towards the understanding that their suffering, no matter how grave, is not an immutable condition, but a temporary state that can be transcended through the power of their faith and practice. As we navigate the complexities of illness and its impact on our members' lives, it is crucial that we remain steadfast in our commitment to providing guidance that illuminates the path of faith. We must refrain from delving into the realm of medical advice, for such counsel falls outside the scope of our responsibilities and expertise. Instead, our focus should remain firmly fixed on empowering our members to chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo with the conviction that they possess the inherent power to overcome any obstacle, be it physical, mental, or spiritual. By embodying this approach in our guidance, we not only fulfill our sacred duty as faith leaders, but also honor the profound legacy of Nichiren Daishonin and those who have walked the path before us. We become beacons of hope, shining the light of wisdom and compassion into the lives of those grappling with illness, reminding them that they are never alone on this journey and that through the unwavering practice of faith, they possess the means to conquer even the most formidable of challenges. As Nichiren Daishonin declared, if one chants Nam Myoho Renge Kyo with the strong conviction that oneself is a Buddha, then one's life will be free from any sickness whatsoever. May these words resonate within us, inspiring us to guide our members towards the realization of their innate Buddhahood and the profound healing power that lies within. For in doing so, we not only contribute to the alleviation of their suffering, but also kindle the flames of hope and resilience that will illuminate their path towards a life of unwavering health, happiness, and fulfillment. The role of faith leaders in guiding members through illness extends far beyond the mere recitation of Buddhist principles. It requires a deep understanding of the multifaceted nature of suffering and a compassionate presence that can provide solace and encouragement during even the darkest of moments. For many individuals grappling with illness, the physical and mental anguish is often compounded by a sense of isolation and despair. It is in these moments that our guidance must serve as a beacon of hope, reminding them that they are never alone on this journey. We must embody the spirit of the Lotus Sutra, which Nichiren Daishonin praised as the heart of the Buddha's lifetime of teachings, a supreme expression of boundless compassion and the profound truth that every life possesses infinite dignity and worth. Through our words and actions, we can help our members recognize that their illness, no matter how daunting, does not define them or diminish their inherent value as human beings. Rather, it is a temporary challenge that when faced with courage and faith, can become a catalyst for personal growth and the revelation of their indomitable Buddha nature. In one of his writings, Nichiren Daishonin offers a poignant reminder of the transformative power that lies within each of us, stating, If you care anything about your personal security, you should hasten to take measures to guard your mind. If you do not give forth the lion's roar, showing the supremacy of your Buddhist practice, you will be vulnerable to the persistent and repeated onslaughts of the Devil King of the Sixth Heaven. These words remind us that the true battle against illness is not a physical one, but a spiritual struggle, 
a test of our resolve to summon forth the lion's roar of our faith and defiantly proclaim our indomitable spirit in the face of adversity. As guides, it is our sacred duty to embolden our members, to help them find the courage to unleash the boundless reserves of strength and resilience that reside within their Buddha nature. This process of empowerment begins with our ability to listen, to truly hear the fears, doubts, and struggles that our members articulate without judgment or preconception. By creating a space of compassionate understanding, we can help them feel seen and heard, validating their experiences and paving the way for them to open their hearts to the transformative power of faith. Nichiren Daishonin's guidance reminds us that illness is not a punishment or a divine retribution, but rather a manifestation of the negative causes we have created through our thoughts, words, and deeds across countless lifetimes. This understanding can be both liberating and daunting for those grappling with illness, as it shifts the narrative from one of victimhood to one of personal empowerment. It is our role as faith leaders to guide our members through this profound realization, helping them to recognize that while they may not have chosen the circumstances of their illness, they possess the power to transform their karma and reshape the trajectory of their lives. This is the essence of Nichiren Buddhism, the unwavering belief that each of us possesses the inherent potential for Buddhahood and that through the practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we can manifest our highest state of life, one characterized by indestructible happiness, wisdom, and well-being. As we navigate the complexities of illness and suffering, it is crucial that we remain grounded in the fundamental teachings of Nichiren Buddhism while also honoring the unique journeys and experiences of each individual we guide. There is no one-size-fits-all approach for the path to recovery is as varied and multifaceted as the individuals who walk it. Some may find solace in the profound philosophical insights woven throughout the Gosho, while others may resonate more deeply with the personal accounts of those who have overcome illness through their unwavering faith. It is our responsibility as leaders to tailor our guidance, drawing from the rich tapestry of Buddhist teachings and adapting our approach to meet the specific needs of each member we serve. Throughout this process, it is essential that we remain steadfast in our own faith and practice, for it is from this wellspring of conviction that our guidance will derive its power and authenticity. As Nichiren Daishonin eloquently stated, if you light a fire for others, it will also brighten your own way. By embodying the principles we espouse, by chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo with the unwavering conviction that we are Buddhas capable of overcoming any obstacle, we become living examples of the transformative power of faith. Our members will see in us the embodiment of the very teachings we share, and this living testament will serve as a source of inspiration and hope fueling their own determination to forge ahead on the path to recovery. Ultimately, our guidance in matters of illness is not about dispensing quick fixes or offering shallow platitudes. It is about illuminating the profound truth that resides at the heart of Nichiren Buddhism, the understanding that our lives are imbued with infinite dignity and worth, and that through the practice of faith, we possess the power to transform even the most daunting of challenges into opportunities for growth, wisdom, and the revelation of our inherent Buddhahood. As we walk this path alongside our members, we must remain ever mindful of the profound responsibility we bear. We are not merely imparting information or offering advice. We are guiding individuals through some of the most challenging and transformative experiences of their lives. It is a sacred duty that demands our utmost compassion, patience, and unwavering commitment to the teachings that have guided generations before us. For in doing so, we not only contribute to the alleviation of suffering, but also kindle the flames of hope and resilience that will illuminate the path towards a life of unwavering health, happiness, and fulfillment for all beings. This is the true essence of our role as faith leaders, to be beacons of wisdom and compassion, guiding others towards the realization of their infinite potential and the profound truth that lies at the heart of Nichiren Buddhism. As we delve deeper into the profound responsibility 
of guiding members through illness and suffering, it becomes increasingly clear that our role extends far beyond the mere imparting of knowledge or the recitation of Buddhist principles. We are called upon to embody the very essence of the teachings we share, to serve as living examples of the transformative power of faith and the indomitable spirit that lies at the heart of Nichiren Buddhism. This is a sacred duty that demands our unwavering commitment, not only to our members, but to our own journey of spiritual growth and awakening. For how can we hope to guide others towards the revelation of their inherent Buddhahood if we ourselves have not embarked upon that same path of self-discovery and transformation? Nichiren Daishonin's writings offer profound insights into the importance of continuous self-reflection and the relentless pursuit of deepening our own faith and wisdom. In one of his letters, he states, Arouse deep faith and diligently polish your mirror day and night. How should you polish it? By chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. These words serve as a powerful reminder that our ability to guide others is inextricably linked to our willingness to continually polish the mirror of our own lives, to confront our doubts and fears with unwavering courage, and to allow the brilliant light of the mystic law to illuminate the depths of our beings. It is through this process of self-exploration and self-mastery that we can truly embody the teachings we share, becoming living embodiments of the boundless potential and indestructible spirit that lies at the heart of Nichiren Buddhism. Our members will see in us not merely teachers or leaders, but fellow travelers on the path to Buddhahood, individuals who have confronted their own struggles and emerged with a deeper understanding of the profound truths that can set us all free. As we walk this path alongside our members, it is crucial that we remain grounded in a spirit of humility and openness. For while we may possess knowledge and wisdom gleaned from the teachings and our own experiences, we must never lose sight of the fact that each individual's journey is unique, shaped by their own karmic circumstances and life experiences. It is our responsibility to approach each member with an open heart and a willingness to listen, to truly hear their stories, and to understand the nuances of their struggles. Only then can we hope to offer guidance that resonates on a profound level, addressing not only the surface-level manifestations of their illness, but also the deeper karmic roots that lie beneath. In this process of deep listening and understanding, we may encounter individuals whose experiences challenge our own preconceptions or push us to confront aspects of the human condition that we have yet to fully comprehend. It is in these moments that we must summon forth the courage to embrace uncertainty, to let go of our need for control, and to allow the teachings of Nichiren Buddhism to guide us towards a deeper understanding of the profound interconnectedness of all life. Nichiren Daishonin's own life serves as a powerful testament to the importance of this open-hearted approach. Throughout his journey, he encountered countless individuals from all walks of life, each grappling with their own unique struggles and challenges. Yet, he approached each person with a spirit of compassion and a willingness to understand their circumstances, tailoring his guidance to meet their specific needs. In his writings, we find accounts of individuals who overcame grave illnesses through their unwavering faith, such as Shijo Kingo, whose life-threatening condition was transformed through his commitment to chanting Namyoho Rengekyo. We also encounter stories of those who faced persecution and adversity, like the Atsuhara persecutors, who ultimately found redemption and enlightenment through the profound wisdom of Nichiren's teachings. These diverse narratives serve as powerful reminders that the path to overcoming illness and suffering is not a one-size-fits-all journey. Each individual's experience is shaped by a myriad of factors, their karmic circumstances, their personal beliefs and values, and the unique challenges they face in their lives. As faith leaders, it is our responsibility to honor and navigate this complexity, to approach each member with an open heart and a willingness to tailor our guidance to their specific needs. This may require us to draw upon a diverse array of teachings and insights, weaving together philosophical concepts, personal narratives, and practical advice 
in a tapestry of wisdom that speaks directly to the heart of each individual we serve. Throughout this process, we must remain anchored in the fundamental teachings of Nichiren Buddhism while simultaneously embracing a spirit of flexibility and adaptability. For just as illness and suffering can manifest in countless forms, so too must our guidance be multifaceted, capable of addressing the unique circumstances and challenges faced by each of our members. This approach demands not only a deep well of knowledge and wisdom, but also a profound capacity for empathy and emotional intelligence. We must be attuned to the subtle nuances of human experience, able to sense the unspoken fears, doubts, and aspirations that lie beneath the surface of our members' words and actions. It is in these moments of deep connection and understanding that the true power of our guidance is revealed. For it is not merely the recitation of teachings or the imparting of knowledge that facilitates transformation, but rather the ability to forge a sacred bond of trust and compassion, one that creates a safe space for our members to confront their struggles, to shed the burden of their doubts, and to embrace the boundless potential that resides within their Buddha nature. As we navigate this sacred journey alongside our members, we must remain ever mindful of the profound responsibility we bear. We are not merely guides or teachers, but spiritual companions, walking hand in hand with those who have entrusted us with their hopes, their fears, and their very lives. It is a role that demands our unwavering commitment, our deepest compassion, and our willingness to continually expand the boundaries of our own understanding and wisdom. For in doing so, we not only contribute to the alleviation of suffering, but also kindle the flames of hope and resilience that will illuminate the path towards a life of unwavering health, happiness, and fulfillment for all beings. This is the true essence of our sacred duty as faith leaders, to be beacons of wisdom and compassion, guiding others towards the realization of their infinite potential and the profound truth that lies at the heart of Nishiran Buddhism. It is a journey that will challenge us, transform us, and ultimately reveal the boundless depths of our own Buddha nature as we walk alongside our members, hand in hand, towards the brilliant light of enlightenment. As we continue to explore the depths of our role in guiding members through illness and suffering, it becomes increasingly clear that our journey is not one of mere instruction or the dispensation of knowledge. Rather, it is a sacred path of shared growth, transformation, and the mutual revelation of our inherent Buddhahood. For in the act of guiding others towards the light of the mystic law, we too are inevitably transformed. We are challenged to confront our own doubts, our own fears, and our own limiting beliefs about the nature of human existence and the boundless potential that resides within each of us. This process of mutual awakening is beautifully encapsulated in Nichiren Daishonin's profound statement, If you light a fire for others, it will also brighten your own way. In these words, we find a powerful reminder that our guidance is not a one-way transmission of wisdom, but rather a dynamic exchange in which both the guide and the guided are illuminated by the brilliant flames of faith. As we accompany our members on their journeys through illness and suffering, we bear witness to the depths of the human experience, the pain, the fear, the doubt, and the unrelenting resilience of the human spirit. In doing so, we are confronted with our own vulnerabilities, our own struggles, and the profound truth that we are all interconnected in our shared quest for liberation from the cycle of birth and death. It is in these moments of profound connection and empathy that our own faith is tested and refined. We are called upon to summon forth the unwavering conviction that Nichiren Daishonin embodied to tap into the wellspring of courage and compassion that enabled him to guide countless individuals towards the realization of their Buddhahood, even in the face of immense adversity and persecution. This process of mutual transformation is not one that occurs overnight, nor is it a linear path of constant progress. There will be moments when our faith is shaken, when the weight of our members' suffering seems too heavy to bear and when the doubts and fears that linger within our own hearts threaten to obscure the brilliance of the mystic law, it is in these moments that we must turn inward 
returning to the fundamental teachings of Nichiren Buddhism and the profound wisdom that has guided generations of practitioners before us. We must chant Nam Myoho Rengekyo with renewed fervor, allowing the vibrant rhythm of the Daimoku to resonate within the depths of our being, awakening the indestructible life force that resides within our Buddha nature. As we engage in this practice of self-reflection and spiritual fortification, we may find ourselves drawn to the narratives of those who have walked the path before us, the countless individuals whose lives were transformed by the profound teachings of Nishiren Daishonin and the unwavering faith that sustained them through even the darkest of challenges. In the pages of the Gosho, we encounter stories of ordinary individuals who summoned forth extraordinary courage and resilience, overcoming seemingly insurmountable obstacles through the power of their faith and their commitment to the mystic law. We read of Shijo Kingo, whose life-threatening illness was vanquished by his unwavering practice, and of the Atsuhara persecutors, whose hearts were ultimately opened to the profound truth of Nichiren's teachings, transforming them from persecutors to devoted followers. These narratives serve as powerful reminders that the path of faith is not a solitary journey, but rather a shared experience that spans generations and transcends the boundaries of time and space. We are part of a vast lineage of practitioners, each of whom has contributed their own unique thread to the tapestry of wisdom and resilience that sustains us in our pursuit of Buddhahood. As we draw inspiration from these stories and the countless individuals who have walked the path before us, we may find ourselves compelled to share our own experiences and insights with those who will come after. For just as we have been nourished by the wisdom of our predecessors, so too must we contribute our own narratives, our own hard-won lessons, and our own unique perspectives to the ever-evolving legacy of Nichiren Buddhism. In doing so, we not only honor the lineage of faith that has sustained us, but we also play a vital role in shaping the future of our practice and the lives of countless individuals yet to come. Our stories, our struggles, and our triumphs become beacons of hope and inspiration for those who will one day find themselves navigating the challenges of illness and suffering, reminding them that they are not alone and that the path to Buddhahood is one that has been traversed by countless others before them. This act of sharing and contributing to the collective wisdom of our faith is not merely an academic exercise or a means of self-promotion. Rather, it is a profound expression of our commitment to the teachings of Nishiren Buddhism and our unwavering belief in the inherent dignity and worth of all life. For in sharing our stories, we not only illuminate the path for others, but we also bear witness to the profound transformations that have occurred within our own lives. We give voice to the struggles, the doubts, and the moments of profound awakening that have shaped our journeys, inviting others to see themselves reflected in our experiences and to find solace in the knowledge that they too possess the power to overcome even the most daunting of challenges. This process of mutual sharing and learning is not confined to the written word or the formal teachings of our faith. It manifests in the countless interactions we have with our fellow practitioners, in the moments of connection and understanding that arise during our meetings and gatherings, and in the profound bonds of friendship and camaraderie that are forged through our shared commitment to the mystic law. It is in these sacred spaces of community and belonging that we find the strength to persevere, the courage to confront our doubts and fears, and the unwavering support of those who have walked the path alongside us. We are reminded that we are not alone in our struggles, and that our journey towards Buddhahood is one that is deeply intertwined with the lives and experiences of countless others. As we navigate the complexities of illness and suffering, both within our own lives and in the lives of those we guide, it is this sense of community and shared purpose that will sustain us. It is a precious gift, one that was embodied by Nichiren Daishonin himself and the countless individuals who rallied around him, united in their commitment to the mystic law and their unwavering belief in the transformative power of faith. In the end, our journey as faith leaders is not one of mere instruction or the imparting of knowledge. It is a sacred path 
of shared growth, mutual transformation, and the profound realization that we are all interconnected in our quest for liberation and enlightenment. As we walk this path together, hand in hand, with our members and our fellow practitioners, we are continually challenged to deepen our faith, to expand the boundaries of our understanding, and to summon forth the boundless reserves of courage and compassion that reside within our Buddha nature. It is a journey that will test us, transform us, and ultimately reveal the profound truth that lies at the heart of Nichiren Buddhism, that each of us possesses the infinite potential for Buddhahood, and that through our unwavering commitment to the mystic law and our shared journey of faith, we can manifest a world of indestructible happiness, wisdom, and fulfillment for all beings.